What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I want to review the Craft Holsters light bearing holster. And this is a leather holster. It's 100% leather. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love leather holsters. I love leather in general for knife sheaths, jackets, pouches. I, I'm just a big fan of leather. I think it looks great and it's very durable. It's also quieter than Kydex. So I have my Glock 20 Gen 4 in this holster and I have a 30 round mag in it. But this is Craft Holster's answer to light bearing pistols. Okay. So these holsters are specifically made for pistols that have lights on them. And I have a Surefire X300 on this pistol but I want to just show you guys what they did here is I asked them to leave a little opening because I have a threaded barrel on this Glock and when you order this holster or any holster from Craft Holsters what you want to do is let them know if there's any special things about your pistol so they can adjust the holster accordingly for example, on my pistol, I have suppressor height night sights, which are not compatible with the regular holster that they make for Glock 20s, which are made for the lower profile factory height sights. Okay, so I told them that I had suppressor height sights, and I also told them the type of light that I had, an X300 from Surefire. And I also told them that I had an extended barrel that goes an extra three quarters of an inch beyond the slide. And this is actually a KKM barrel, so it's a little bit longer, about three quarters of an inch longer than a standard Glock 20 barrel, which is 4.6 inches. So I just told them all that and they modified the holster accordingly. But look at this holster, guys. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at the stitching. Just gorgeous. I love leather, guys. It's just amazing. And it's got a thumb brake for your retention. Okay. And the leather is really nice and soft. And there you have their logo, Craft Holsters. They're based out of Slovakia. And Slovakia is an American ally so I want to just show you guys my pistol here but look at how smooth the pistol just comes right out of this holster just absolutely gorgeous so here's my Glock 20 Gen 4 there's my Surefire X300 got the KKM barrel and I got suppressor height night sights and this is the uh, SGM Tactical 30 round mag. I'll just show you guys that this is clear. Okay, KKM Precision. All right, and I'll just show you guys this holster up close. Look at how thick the leather is. Just high quality stuff, guys. You can't go wrong. Now, one thing I will mention is that when I got this holster, the thumb brake strap was a little bit too short it was actually like a half inch too short so i had to use the craft holsters break-in kit and so what i'm saying is that basically i could not close the thumb brake all right because this strap was not coming completely around the back of the slide so it was kind of sitting like back here so when i tried to close the thumb brake the snap didn't align, so I had to move it over an extra half inch. And all I did was I used some of their break-in fluid, and I applied the break-in fluid to the strap here. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit lighter color, and that's from me pulling on the strap. And what I did was just put a lot of that break-in fluid, and what I would do is just pull on it, you know, pull, and then I would try to close it just like so and I would keep doing that until it stretched the strap here and now it's perfectly stretched and I also applied their break-in fluid along 
the slide area here and where the light sits, okay, to make it a lot smoother to pull the pistol out of the holster. And as you can see, just comes out like butter. Look at that, guys. Just absolutely beautiful holster, guys. I love it. Just gorgeous. So check it out. You can use my promo code NYPREPPER5 and you'll get 5% off. And this holster does have an FBI cant to it. So it doesn't sit straight down. It has a slight cant. It's angled backwards a little bit, which some people like, some people don't like. I think it's okay. I'm not like a huge fan of FBI cants. I think it's okay. The FBI cant was primarily designed to allow FBI agents to sit at their desk more easily while wearing their pistol on their belt, okay? Because when you can't the pistol a little bit, it makes it easier to sit down. So by canting it just a little bit, it helps the FBI agents sit down at their desk and do their paperwork. It is something that you have to practice with. If you've never used an FBI cant holster, you definitely have to practice. Put it on and draw it a couple of times just to get used to the draw. The draw is a little bit different and you also wear the holster a little bit further back. And another thing that you can do if you don't want to buy the Craft Holsters break-in kit or you run out of their break-in fluid, I had good success with rubbing alcohol. And what I did with the rubbing alcohol is I just put some on some cotton balls and I just dabbed the rubbing alcohol on the areas that were tight, okay, like where the slide is over here. And where the light sits over here and also on the strap, I just dabbed it right here. Okay, just dab, 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 and dab, dab, dab. You know, any of the areas where there was a lot of friction, just dab it. You don't want to rub the rubbing alcohol onto the holster because what's going to happen is you're going to remove some of the dye out of the leather. The alcohol is going to remove the dye and spread the dye around and it's going to look bad so you just want to very gently dab a little bit in the tight areas that you need to break in and let that alcohol sink in a couple of seconds and then put the pistol into the holster remove it put it in remove it put it in remove it put it in do that a bunch of times and then add a little bit more rubbing alcohol in those tight areas again and leave it for a couple of hours and it should loosen up the leather okay so that's what I did just because I didn't feel like sending it back to them when you send it back to them it goes to Europe so it takes you know two to three weeks for them to send you a new one so I just did it that way okay so excellent holster guys check out craft holsters I'll leave a link to this holster in the description below this video they have all kinds of holsters not just leather they have a variety of different holsters and pouches so check them out use my promo code nyprepper5 and you'll get five percent off so stay tuned and i'm going to show you guys what this holster looks like on me i'm going to put it on and show you guys how it draws and how it looks so stay tuned all right, guys, I just want to show you how the holster looks with my pistol in it. So here's a side view, and there's my Glock 20. Got the 30-round magazine in it, and you can see that FBI cant, how it cants the pistol backwards a little bit. And a lot of people think that that's for some tactical reason, but the truth is, is that the FBI cant was created for FBI agents and FBI agents have to sit in a desk a lot, okay? They're not street cops, so they have to sit down with their pistol on and stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down all day long, sit down at the desk, get up, go to the field, sit down again, and this slight cant 
makes it much more comfortable when you're sitting down. The pistol doesn't dig into your side as much, okay? So it's really comfortable. I love this holster and it's just gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that holster is, guys. Just absolutely beautiful. So I'll just do a draw for you guys, okay? So I do need to break this holster in a little bit more. All right, it is a little bit stiff, but no big deal. Just show you guys again. And when you're drawing from an FBI canted holster, it's a little bit different than a traditional holster where the pistol is straight down vertically. It's canted a little bit, so if you try to just pull straight up, it's not going to come out. So you just got to practice drawing from the holster with an FBI cant because it's a little bit different. With a traditional holster, you're used to just pulling up, but with a cant, you can't pull up because it won't come out. You kind of have to like pull forward a little bit. It's it's hard to explain, but you're kind of kind of like doing a curl, like a dumbbell curl. Okay. You're kind of pulling and curling. It's hard to explain, but you're kind of doing a motion like this. Okay. You're not just going straight up. Okay. Like, you know, normally you would just go straight up and then orient the pistol towards your target. But with the cant you can't really do that so you're kind of pulling and curling you know it's it's a little bit different so let me just demonstrate and you just gotta practice you know practice makes perfect it's just a little bit different you gotta practice with it and get used to it i would say the draw is a little bit slower in my opinion because of the cant it makes it a little bit more tricky to draw the pistol okay so you definitely have to practice let me just show you guys what it looks like when I'm sitting down and you'll see how the FBI can't helps when you're sitting down all right guys so you can see in the seated position how the holster sits vertically now because it's canted when you're standing so when you're sitting it's vertical and it's much more comfortable. I can easily sit down and, you know, type up whatever reports. If I had to type up some kind of report, if I'm an FBI agent and I have to sit here for a couple of hours and, you know, type up some reports, it's, it's really comfortable. It doesn't dig into my rib cage here. Okay. It's, it's nice and comfortable. And you could even draw from this position. It's a little bit tough for me to do because my holster is not fully broken in yet, so the leather is really gripping the pistol tight, but you could draw from this position easily. Same thing if you're sitting in your car, okay? Another thing with FBI agents is they're going in and out of their vehicles a lot, and they're sitting down a lot, like I mentioned, at their desk. So if you're sitting in a car, this is extremely comfortable. If you didn't have an FBI cant, the pistol would be oriented like, like this, Okay, it would be oriented like that and it would be digging into your ribs here. It wouldn't be comfortable and you wouldn't be able to draw from this position. So with the FBI can't, when you sit down, it's in a vertical position and I can draw if I had to. I can't do it right now because this holster needs a little more breaking. Okay, but anyway, just wanted to show you guys this awesome holster from Craft Holsters. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below this video and in the comments section and check the promo code out. It's in the description below all my videos, 5% off. Other than that, take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps, prepare, practice, and persevere.